One of the things we've been able to do is use a technique where we can take individual flies and you hold them by the wings and you attach a thermocouple to them. And this thermocouple feeds back to a computer and it records the temperature of the fly um, three times a minute. So we get a pretty good resolution of the temperature of the fly. We can place the flies in styrofoam containers that then are placed in a minus 80 freezer and the styrofoam insulates the flies so that their, the temperature inside decreases at one degree per minute. And the flies are attached to the thermocouple. The thermocouple is giving three readings per minute back to the computer as they're cooling. When they freeze, so when the water in their body freezes, it's an exothermic reaction. What happens is the, the water molecules turn from <coughs> liquid to crystal and they give off a little bit of heat. And the probe is sensitive enough to um, record that heat that's given off when the water freezes. So we can follow their temperature as they cool and then we get a little blip, about two to one and a half to maybe 1.8 degrees and then they continue to cool. And that little blip tells us the temperature at which they freeze. And we now know that they can supercool to minus 20 degrees centigrade. And we also know that until they freeze, they can survive fairly well at the low temperatures. Not all of them are surviving down to, say, minus 18, minus 19 but a lot of them are. And what this means is that if you think about Wednesday this week, where what was the overnight low? Zero Fahrenheit? It didn't kill, it didn't kill a large number of them, at least. So um, they have the ability to depress the freezing point. We're trying to un better understand how they do this. It's probably a chemical similar to ethylene glycol, which is what we put in the car. It's not that. That would be toxic to them. But there are some polyhydrate, there, there are similar, similar chemicals that they can synthesize and incorporate into their, you know, into their, you know, their blood. And um, it's, it's likely to be a polyhydrate alcohol that they're using to depress the freezing point. So a fairly specialized um, physiology in that sense.